What if I told you, you can get a rip six pack with just eight minutes of body weight abs? You're fired. <laughs> eight minute ab workouts, eight minute body weight ab workouts just don't work. We know how they're marketed. We have posted plenty of eight minute ab workouts and six minute ab workouts because they're trendy, but they don't live up to the promise that they're supposed to. They promise you that you're gonna get a six pack, you're gonna get rid of your belly fat, you're gonna be in the best shape of your life and suddenly look like a superhero. Just can't do it in eight minutes. It just doesn't work that way. Yeah, at a certain point in time, the challenge ends and there's gotta be a way that we can create more challenge and overload, but with body weight, we can't necessarily do that. Exactly, you can't really reach your ab goals in eight minutes of body weight training, no matter how many influencer ab workouts you're doing, it's just not a path to victory. Now that doesn't mean you can't do eight minute ab workouts. If that's all you've got time for, go for it. But understand how you should frame eight minute abs. It's a gateway to getting into the shape you want. It is not the answer to getting into the shape that you want. And we're gonna go over three reasons why. Reason number one why eight minute abs is overrated is because it perpetuates the myth of spot reduction. You can't pick a spot on your body and burn just the fat on the lower abdomen and nowhere else. Burning fat comes from a global standpoint. So when we're burning fat, we're burning fat all over our body and it's not a targeted area where we're just pinpointing one little specific part of the body. Exactly, the thing is, every single influencer ab workout ever winds up telling you that you're gonna lose your belly fat in just eight minutes. A lot of times you're also just lying on the ground and you're just doing the same motion over and over and over. Fat loss comes from a combination of training so that we're getting activity and we also wanna create a calorie deficit. That's how you wind up losing fat. You can't create a calorie deficit if you're just lying on the ground. That's the other issue with almost all of the eight minute body weight ab workouts you're gonna see out there. They just have you lying on the ground. So if we really want those six pack abs, we're gonna have to get our abs strong and we're gonna have to train our abs in multiple planes, which kinda can't happen if all you're doing is lying on the ground doing crunches and sit-ups and V-ups and a bunch of ab workouts where you can also sort of rest. Like when I'm doing sit-ups, I can take a rest every single time I lie back down or I can take my time. I don't need to go hard. Eight minute ab workouts leave too much room for you to not go hard and for you to not really focus on contracting your abs the way you need to. Yeah, and when you're doing something, you always wanna create intention. So we wanna be active in the movement. As I've said, over time, you become very passive and it's just more about flexing extension and not actually engaging the muscle of the target area we're looking to hit. Exactly, go back and watch our plank video. Why do we not like the plank? Because after one minute, it gets really, really easy to just get lazy and just go through the motions. It's the same with eight minute abs. After you've done a couple minutes, even if it is a hard eight minute ab workout, it gets really, really easy to give yourself a pass and to take a break. And that's why we don't want you training for eight minutes consecutively. And we don't want you training with just a bunch of simple ab motions that are gonna give you an easy out. The third problem with eight minute abs, especially if you really, really want that visually arresting six pack, what you really need to do, just like we train any other muscle group, we've gotta progressively overload our abs and that cannot happen with body weight. Yes, there are a couple ways that we can take, say a plank and we can progress it so we involve a little bit more anti-rotation via a shoulder tap or via a little bit of a plank reach. You can do a little bit of progressive overload with body weight, but at some point you need to to challenge your abs with resistance. And you also need to challenge your abs with resistance from a life perspective too, because our core does not just repeat these body weight motions over and over and over with no resistance. Our core is meant to make us strong when we're doing exercises like squats and deadlifts, and it's meant to make us strong when we're carrying grocery bags home. So that can't happen if all you're doing is training on the ground. Exactly. I wouldn't just do a thousand air squats body weight to grow my legs, right? I wanna load my legs to where I'm pushing the intensity I feel that fatigue early on, so I'm not doing 100 reps, more so I'm staying in that five to eight range. The one thing eight minute ab ideas do get right is that you can train your core every day. Our core works all the time, it's always on, so it doesn't hurt to get that training. And you don't need to spend a whole ton of time on it because when you're doing your other workouts, which you should be doing, and we're gonna get to that next, your abs should be on the entire time. Here are three ways that you can take those eight minutes that you're gonna spend doing eight minute abs and actually get something out of it that's really gonna make your core look the way you want and function the way you want. Option one, let's work with some more challenging exercises. So what we want you to do, we want you to take two actual challenging ab exercises that we can maybe load a little bit. Think of a cable crunch, think of a windmill, 
Think of a hanging knee raise where we can add a little bit of weight there if we want it, but trust me, that's hard enough as it is. You're gonna take those two exercises, you're gonna do three sets of them. Aim to do 10 to 12 reps because those exercises are gonna be more challenging than the 100 reps you were doing on the ground. Take about 45 seconds to a minute between each set. Go back, you're gonna wind up spending eight to 10 minutes training your abs, your abs will be fried, and we're creating a situation where we can grow our abs, where we can hypertrophy our abs just like any other muscle group because we're gonna train a little bit heavy. To lead right off of that point, we go right into our next one where let's add some carries into play, right? We're doing all that higher repetition with weight, creating a hypertrophy, but let's pack on some muscle by grabbing heavy loads and being able to stabilize the spine, working our core 360 degrees around, which actually will be a little more functional when we translate to everyday life. So whether the load is by our side, offset, overhead, these are all different variations that are gonna challenge you in specific ways that are gonna do way more in a short amount of time than if you're going on the ground and doing 100 V-ups for time. Exactly, imagine all you're doing, we're gonna grab kettlebells or dumbbells for eight consecutive minutes. All we want you to do is walk with them. It's a real life move. It's gonna challenge your abs with a lot of load. It's gonna challenge your full body with a lot of load. And there's an added benefit that doesn't come when you're lying on the ground doing your influencer app workout. We're gonna to get to burn a ton of calories as we're doing this in those eight minutes because you're walking, we're going from place to place. You've gotta move your body through space just like you would when you're doing cardio. It, it winds up being a combination of ab training, winds up being a combination of full body training, your grip's gonna get a lot, and you're gonna get cardio too. The third alternative, if you really want to do your favorite influencer eight minute workout, it would be to add this eight minute abs on to something at the end or maybe even the beginning of the workout. This is not your main focus, right? We supplement our workouts with this. We get our hard work our challenging work in that 45 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever your workout entails, whether it's running or strength training, and then we tack this on to the end. And I ran 15 minute abs for a while, and my whole thing wasn't, this is the only thing you do for the day. This is something you supplement your training with, right? You wanna do something fun, you wanna feel that burn, well throw this on at the end after you've already worked hard and put that hard work in, this will just top you off. It'll be the cherry on top and send you off on your way. And once you say that, we can get you back in here, you're rehired, because now you understand exactly how to use eight minute abs. It is not gonna be the entree in your workout, it is not the answer to your core training. All the rest of your training is what's gonna earn you that six pack and earn you the body and the functionality that you want. So hit our alternatives for ab training instead and get rid of Instagram eight minute ab workouts, just swipe past it and swipe to something from Men's Health instead.